625 meters. That's how high the Huajiang Canyon Bridge will stand, the tallest bridge on Earth, towering nearly twice the height of the Eiffel Tower. Suspended over the Baypon River, this colossal structure will stretch 2,890 meters across one of the most unforgiving landscapes in China, with a breathtaking 1,420 meter main span defying gravity itself. For generations, Guizhou's sheer cliffs and deep gorges have isolated communities, forcing travelers onto treacherous, winding roads or across rickety rope bridges. A journey that should take minutes has always taken over an hour. Until now. This bridge will change everything, cutting travel time to just one minute. But how do you build something this massive in a land of crumbling rock, fierce winds, and unpredictable weather? Guizhou is not a place for the faint of heart. It's a land of towering mountains, sheer cliffs, and deep river valleys, with 92% of the province covered in mountains and plateaus. Construction here has never been easy. Roads are carved into rock faces, constantly battling against landslides and erosion. Rainfall is heavy, the weather is unpredictable, and the landscape itself seems determined to keep people apart. For decades, traveling through Guizhou meant long hours on treacherous roads that wound through the mountains, where one wrong turn could send a vehicle tumbling into the abyss. In some areas, locals relied on century-old rope bridges, swaying over deep chasms with nothing but frayed planks between them and a deadly drop. It was inconvenient and dangerous. The G56 Hangzhou Ruili Expressway a major highway stretching from the economic powerhouse of Hangzhou in the east all the way to Rili near the Myanmar border, cuts through this region. This expressway is a lifeline, connecting China's booming coastal cities with its less developed southwestern provinces. The biggest obstacle on this route? The Beipan River Canyon. Before construction of the Huajiang Canyon Bridge, crossing the canyon meant a 70-minute detour on dangerous mountain roads where rock falls and sudden weather changes could make the journey unpredictable. With the bridge in place, that exhausting trip is reduced to a quick, effortless crossing. A challenge that has defined this region for centuries is about to disappear forever. Now, as the final segments of the steel truss are put into place, the bridge is on track to open in late 2025, taking its place as the highest bridge in the world. But the impact of this project goes far beyond breaking records. Standing at 625 meters above the canyon floor, the Huajiang Canyon Bridge is considered as the highest bridge in the world. But height alone isn't what makes this structure incredible. It stretches 2,890 meters across one of China's most unforgiving landscapes, with a 1,420 meter main span that seems to float in midair. Bridges this long, this high, and in such extreme terrain don't just happen. They require engineering at the very limits of what's possible. A structure like this couldn't rely on conventional bridge designs, in a place where the canyon drops off steeply on both sides. There was no solid ground to support the middle of the bridge. That meant engineers had only one option, a suspension bridge. Instead of using pillars underneath, they built two towering support pylons on either side of the canyon, anchoring them deep into the rock. These pylons, one standing at 262 meters and the other at 205 meters, hold up the entire bridge using a vast web of high-strength steel cables. And these cables? They aren't just thick ropes hanging in the air. They are made of tens of thousands of interwoven steel strands specially designed to withstand powerful winds, extreme temperature swings, and even earthquakes. In a region where the weather can go from calm to chaos in minutes, this strength is absolutely crucial. Without it, the bridge wouldn't survive the forces of nature. Then comes the sheer amount of raw material needed to make this bridge a reality. Nearly 49,000 tons of steel are being used with 40,000 tons already in place. 
To put that into perspective, that's more than six Eiffel Towers worth of steel hanging over a canyon. The steel truss segments alone weigh a staggering 21,000 tons, each piece weighing as much as a commercial jetliner. Lifting and placing these massive steel segments into position was a challenge unlike any other. This wasn't a job for ordinary cranes. It required the most advanced cable crane system in the world. This system isn't just about lifting, it's about precision. It uses Beidou satellite navigation and Internet of Things IoT technology to position each segment with millimeter level accuracy. If something is even slightly off, the entire bridge's balance could be compromised. To make sure every move is perfect, over 30 high-definition cameras and sensors monitor the construction in real time. Instead of a team of 20 workers manually adjusting the placement, just two operators sitting in a control center can now guide the massive steel pieces into position with pinpoint precision. The bridge's towering pylons presented an entirely different kind of challenge. The North Tower, which rises 262 meters, had to be anchored deep into the mountainside. But the rock wasn't solid. Cracks in the stone and underground water made excavation risky. If the foundation wasn't stable, the entire bridge would be at risk. Engineers had to reinforce the foundations with high-strength steel bars, ensuring the bridge could withstand earthquakes, fierce winds, and extreme temperature shifts for decades to come. Building a bridge of this scale was never going to be easy. But doing it in one of the harshest terrains on Earth? That's where things got even more complicated. The Huajiang Canyon is a force of nature, a network of sheer cliffs, steep drop-offs, and a river cutting through its depths like a knife. The landscape is breathtaking, but it's also dangerous. Engineers faced constantly shifting terrain, with rocks that could crumble away without warning. Some parts of the canyon walls were so unstable that even drilling them became a risk. And then there's the weather. One day, conditions are perfect. The next, howling winds roar through the gorge, strong enough to push heavy steel segments out of place. This bridge is so high that at times, the temperature at the top can be completely different from the bottom, creating unexpected shifts in pressure and wind patterns. To keep construction safe, engineers installed solar-powered wind meters to track wind speeds in real time. The data is constantly fed into a smart control system, helping workers decide the safest times to lift and position materials. If the wind picks up even slightly, operations can be adjusted immediately, minimizing risks and keeping the project on track. Transporting materials to this remote location was another massive hurdle. Traditional methods, like bringing in parts by truck, were simply not an option. The narrow winding roads leading to the construction site weren't built for carrying thousands of tons of steel. Instead, engineers had to break the bridge down into modular components, transporting smaller sections piece by piece and assembling them directly on site. This approach made transportation more manageable and helped reduce the environmental impact preserving the natural beauty of the canyon. Despite every obstacle, unstable rock, unpredictable winds, and extreme isolation. The bridge is nearly complete. By reducing travel time across the canyon from over an hour to just one minute, it will provide a crucial link for isolated communities, allowing for easier access to jobs, education, and healthcare. Guizhou is already known as the world's highest bridges museum due to its collection of incredible structures, but the Huajiang Canyon Bridge is something different. Beyond making travel easier, it's set to become a major tourist attraction, drawing visitors from Huangyoshu Waterfall, Guanling Fossil National Geopark, and even planned extreme sports and stargazing facilities on the bridge itself. What was once an impossible dream is now a reality, a $150 million masterpiece soaring over the canyon, rewriting the future of Guizhou one steel segment at a time. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates.